Hi everyone, I'm Benedict S. Reyes, student of Taguig City University, studying BS Computer Science under Section A 2022. Today, I'm going to discuss the importance of computer science and discrete structures in real life. Computer science, as the name implies, is the study of computers and all the computing that comes along with it. It includes study of algorithmic and theoretical foundations, software and the hardware, and all the automation, computing and processing done on the information, data structures, designing of computer and network, data modeling, and probably the newest and hottest one these days, the artificial intelligence or AI. Foundation of computer were greatly influenced by mathematics and engineering which is why it widely uses the techniques from statistics, probability, queuing, electronic circuit design, experimentation, and hypothesis testing. Discrete structure is a set of discrete elements on which certain operations are defined. Discrete implies non-continuous, so discrete sets include finite and countable sets. The term discrete structure covers many of the concepts of modern algebra, including integer arithmetic, monoids, semigroups, groups, graphs, lattices, semi-rings, rings, fields, and their subsets. While the continuous math perfectly deals with real valued functions well, it mostly just does that and mostly leads the area of math that deals with discrete values. The simplest example that I can think of to differentiate discrete structure versus the continuous math is determining the values in between 1 and 0. In continuous math, you'll have the numbers like 0 0.5, 0 0.001, 0 0.18 and other infinite fractions of numbers. While in discrete match, just simply have 1 and 0 or in logic term, true or false. So, how does the discrete structure relate to computer science? They are way more related than you think. Discrete math courses started when computer usage became more common. Schools realized that the typical continuous math sequence does not cover the math needed by computer scientists. Thus, the subject discrete mathematics was born. In our current world where everything is digital, our pictures, documents, music, books, our basic information, and even our group of friends are all stored in bits. Bits is the computer's unit of information that can take a value of just 0 or 1. Bits are not like nature, which can take all the infinite values between 0 and 1. Just like in my example earlier, nature is like the continuous math, while a computer whose building blocks are just made of zeros and ones, automatically makes it a discrete structure since everything is binary. All the computations, processes, and algorithms being done by a computer are based on these binary values, so this makes all of them discrete as well. If you look at an algorithm, for example, it is a step-by-step -step list of instructions to the computer, and it is basically what makes a computer program possible. It can contain testing of Boolean operations, executing a function on a specific condition, exiting and entering, starting or stopping a procedure, and more. And all of it are in a specific finite discrete structure. Even when you want to determine the amount of time an algorithm needs to run, you will need to count the number of operations it needs to perform, a finite specific counting process. And again, a discrete mathematics. Simply put, discrete mathematics is the very foundation of computer science. Today, there are millions or billions of applications of computer science and discrete structure in the real world. We can't go through all of that, so I'll just give you one very known real scenario which has utilized a lot of the computer science and the discrete structure's power. We are talking about the very in-demand topic of vaccine development. Vaccine is the major player in containing the COVID-19 pandemic. How did it start and what are the steps and process involved? It starts with identifying the pathogen, then doing DNA sequencing on it. Then the computer science and discrete math comes in with the likes of probability and statistics to understand what the DNA sequence means. 
what are the proteins involved and then do a modeling and formula to determine which part will most likely induce an immunogenic response. Once identified, you again use computer science and discrete math to do simulations and more modeling, as well as more statistics and probability to pinpoint which is the most effective vaccine to produce. After the vaccine prototype is produced, you'll then need to create a database for the prototype test results and do a data analysis to determine how effective the vaccines are and guide you if more research and improvement is needed or if you are ready to go live. All of these, of course, are driven by computer science and discrete structure. Then there's the mass production where robotics might be involved, the logistics distribution and the actual inoculation which involves more data analysis, bigger data structures, population data analysis, location analysis, financial analysis, and more. As you might have guessed by now, all of which are organized and running under the reliable hands of computer science and discrete math structure. Imagine if we have no computer science and discrete structure when the COVID-19 pandemic happened. Where would the human being be right now? Probably at the brink of extinction. So how important is computer science and discrete structure in real life? very much, for me, almost as important as life itself. <laughs>